So for our next episode of Getting Intimate with Anto Gonzalez, we'll be discussing his 22-man roster for the Suzuki <laughs> Cup. Um, there's a, a lot of different ways to choose uh, a 22-man squad. There's, uh, we've already got the list of the 35 men that Vice will be selecting from. Um, what for you will be the biggest factors in choosing which 22 out of the tw 35 will join? Of course, number one is fitness. Mm. We will be playing against teams who move a lot, who mm. are also in tip top shape. So we need to be in, in prime shape. Yeah. Um, and then number two is, of course, technical ability. Um, and then for me, third is tactical understanding. Okay. Uh, it's, a, it's a very interesting way of, of doing that. A lot of people choose technical ability over fitness sometimes because they get the, the higher profiles. But uh, absolutely, the squads will be very, f uh, they'll need to be fit. And we, we saw that in, in the Middle East, where the Ascals managed to really press uh, against Bahrain and Kuwait. Um, what about the balance of players in terms of the positions? How many goalkeepers would they normally take? Attackers, midfielders, defenders? Do you need a lot of versatility throughout the team because it's 22 men? Uh, and apparently you can only use 20 men in the, in the group stage, which is a, is a bit of an alien concept to myself. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I, when I when as a coach, when I yeah. make my lineup, I always have two goalkeepers, um, six defenders, um, at least four forwards, or three forwards, and then the rest would be midfielders. Um, and then I'd have like at least one or two players who um, can play multiple positions. Mm -hmm. So that would be a plus. Okay. Uh, and what about personalities? Uh, you've, sometimes you've got to think about in terms of the experience of players going into a game. Uh, I think it was Alan Hansen in Match of the Day who was famously quoted as saying, uh, you can't win anything with kids. Mm -hmm. And then I think it was subsequently proven wrong in the next season when they had an average age of 20-something. Um, so, how, much, uh, how many players do you need with that experience? Some of the youth and the vitality, they can run all day. Um, and then other players who are a bit more, they'll take the pressure off with mm -hmm. a bit of comedy relief. What kind of yeah. players do you look for in each of the, the squads? Um, actually, looking at my list right now, mm -hmm. we, the team has a good mix of um, experienced players. Um, a few who have played in, in the past Suzuki Cup. Um, and then um, there are also players who are very young, very talented, um, but don't have yet the experience playing in the Suzuki Cup. Mm -hmm. um, I think for for those for those youngsters, this will be the highest level of competition that they'll be playing yeah. in. Um, so it's very important that you have um, some senior players there who mm -hmm. could actually guide them and give them that stability and guidance. Um, but I, I like what I'm seeing on my list in terms of the mix of experience and youth. And do you look at uh, players who are currently in form but might be considered weaker than other players? Uh, or do you look at who overall over the last couple of years maybe has been the better player? Mm. Uh, so for example, if you look at a player like Fernando Torres, for a mm. while he was, he was terrible but they yeah. stuck with him yeah. um, because they knew that he, he does have quality yeah. and class is permanent as they say. I also believe in that. Um, also, it also applies to Lukas Podolski. Mm. Um, during the past World Cup, he didn't play very well for his club, but during the World Cup, he performed and he also um, did the same during the past World Cup. Um, so I think um, as a coach, I would also take in a player who's, who, will, who might not be in, in, in form, but who has proven him, himself in the past. So I, I, I would consider him strong. So let's get straight into your men. Um, who is your 22 for, for the selection? Okay, I what, hope. Would you suggest? I hope my friends in the team would understand my position. <laughs> okay, yeah, um, not being put on the spot at all or anything. So, for the goalkeepers, we yeah. don't really have a choice. Uh, possibly. So it's, it's because we're left with two only. Because most probably Mueller and Etheridge won't be released. Yeah, I've um, been hearing the, they're still in discussions mm -hmm. to confirm that, but um, as of yet, there's been nothing to suggest that Etheridge will definitely be coming, mm -hmm. so yeah. But I'm not worried at all after what Eddie showed yeah. against Singapore, and he also played um, quite well during the Peace Cup. Um, so Sakapanyo, Koresma, 
um, the defenders would be um, Gear, Wani, Kagara, Ray, Yonson, Carly, Jeffrey Christians, J Sab. Um, so there. And then um, for the midfielders, they have Jason De Jong, Chris Greatwich, Chiti Kaligdong, James um, Young Husband, Demit Onfroy, Patrick Reichel, Marvin Angeles, Angel, Girado, Jerry, and Jerry Lucena. Um, Bahadoran is is on the list, but is still recovering from an injury. Yeah. So he might be 50-50. Yeah. Um, and then for the forward line, I have Paul, Mulders, Phil, um, in case Misak is won't be able to recover in time and then yeah and then Dennis Wolf. Oh, okay so um the, a lot of people have said uh, it's, it's a difficult situation for Vice but it's a good problem to have because you've got such a stacked squad I mean talk us through for example some of the bigger names that you've left out of your team bigger names um, of course Shaw <laughs> <laughs> <'Cause you won't laughs> well out available. of the ones that uh, that are available okay. um, Next on my, I was surprised that he wasn't called up for the Singapore friendly. Mm. Mm. Who else? You didn't put yourself on the list. Mm. Um, <laughs> I I wanted to be as objective as possible. <laughs> 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 um, I think I pretty much have um, all of the expected names in here. So maybe Lexon Moy would, would be the exception. I find it very interesting. I mean, to be honest, I was quite tempted to in to put Mark Hartman in my twenty two because mm. he adds a certain flair to it. I know we disagree <laughs> in certain respects of that. Um, I even even the Singaporean, uh, some of the journalists that were saying he should certainly be in the, in the squad. Um, I uh, add in in my attackers. I've listed as Phil Young has been Angel Gerardo and OJ Clarino. Bit of youth, bit of spark. He played well in the Peace Cup. Comes off the bench, could be a good impact sub, which would be nice. Angel, I think, will certainly be needed because uh, both Dennis Wolf and um, Ian Aronet have been misfiring of late. They've mm -hmm. missed a lot of chances in front of goal. Uh, so it'd be nice. And I agree with you with Lex. Lex would be someone who would be great for um, to, to play in holding midfield role. And it's they're going to miss him. I think they'll miss the, the holding midfielders. Yourself, if you're not included uh, in there, I've included you in mine actually. Uh, both oh. you. Now, um, now we're getting into it. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes it's not just about playing on the pitch, it's about what happens at the hotel afterwards. And so I, I'd love to bring you to Thailand. <laughs> Although, a lot of the times it depends on formation. Um, because you, you're looking at. Uh, They've always played with a flat back four, mm -hmm. um, with pushing wing backs as well. Uh, but with the way the, the Philippines play, they need those holding midfielders yeah. to allow the wingers to get forward. And they've often been playing with like a 4 4 1 1 or 4 2 3 1. Now, um, with uh, Dennis Wolf behind Phil, or switching the, the play with that. So the holding midfielders, I think, are necessary. And they've been missing a lot recently. But. Um, It'll be interesting to see who does get through, and obviously we hope play, uh, players like Neil Etheridge, uh, maybe Dennis Kagara will, will certainly be coming. Uh, Jerry Lucena will, is, is hopeful, so is Paul Mulders. So again, we hope that, uh, that a lot of players will come through like that. But uh, a lot of the, the Ascals are now based in the Philippines, so we'll have a much better chemistry compared to last time. So once we get the list, we'll let you know what it is. Uh, we'll give you all the updates, so just follow us at, at FTW Sports. Mm -hmm.